Hey Gina, it's Buckshot Red right here in Nashville, Tennessee. I wanted to send you a quick video, some of my promo stuff. Thank you so much for responding to all the emails. I'm here at my house and we're still unpacking boxes. I actually live right across the street from the Opry. Now I moved here because I am chasing a legacy. I wanna do the Opry so bad, it is my Tonight Show. My father, Shotgun Red, Steve Hall, was on the Opry all the time. I grew up as a little kid sleeping on Roy Cuff's couch in his dressing room. I know all the people on your roster personally and they're like family to me. So I just wanted to tell you, uh, my whole goal is to get on the Opry. Tell me what I need to do. If you see this and you need me to change some stuff or brush it up or whatever you want me to do, but uh, you are my main focus. So here's my promo stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you get some laughs out of you, and I hope to hear from you. See you, Gina. You've seen him on the Redneck Woo! Bus Tour. Avenue, and then you know, uh, 
We had the bombing there, and they blew up Second Avenue. And I, they damn, they blew up Coyote Ugly. Y'all ever been to a Coyote Ugly? Woo! We think that's where COVID might have started. We're not for sure. Uh, they do a shot in there. It's all female bartenders. And they do a shot in there. They lay you on the bar. It's called Baby Bird. They take the shot. The lady opens your mouth, spits it in your mouth, and squeezes the lemon over your mouth. Yeah. Nasty uh, personal space, COVID, <laughs> ew, all those things. So I'm laying there, and uh, <laughs> and uh, she's uh, she's about to spit it in my mouth, and now I don't know if she got tickled or coughed or something, but it shot out her damn nose. <laughs> It's usually $35. She said, tell you what, we'll just charge you $350 and you can call it a jello shot. <laughs> Everybody's done eating, right? Sorry about that one. See, my daddy's side was Catholic and my mama's side was Baptist. And uh, they raised me up. The only difference between the Baptists and the Catholics is the Catholics will talk to each other in the liquor store. That's it. Same thing. <laughs> But they come door knocking, right? And we're stuck. We can't get out of the damn house. We're quarantined. And the Jehovah's Witness, about every two or three days, pounded on my door. Finally, I told my wife, I said, we're just going to let them in. Well, I'm just tired of it. So they came by the house, and uh, they knocked on the door and said, hell, come on in. And uh, put on a pot of coffee. I sat down. I said, uh, what do you boys want to talk about? The guy said, hell, I don't know. We ain't never got this far before. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> yeah, I was going to be a Jehovah's Witness, and I knocked on the wrong door in the first week. God came to the door, threatened to kill me, kill my family, kill my wife. Hell, we ended up with the Jehovah's Witness Protection Program. <laughs> and then we're watching TV, got on that, uh, one of my favorite shows is Family Feud. Y'all like Family Feud? <laughs> Is Steve Harvey not the greatest family feud host of all time? Yes. You guys might have seen this blooper. I just seen it on YouTube. Uh, he asked a man to name something that had the word pork in it. And this guy yelled out, You pine! You know, pork you pine! <laughs> Steve Harvey's reaction was amazing. The guy's answer was fabulous. My favorite part of this whole deal is this man is on national television in front of 30 million people. There's about 500 people in the studio audience, and all of his friends and family have tuned in to watch. When he said, you pine, six people to the right went, good answer. <laughs> Steve Harvey said, I'll give you every dollar I've ever earned if you pine is up on that door. <laughs> Show me you pine. Hey, listen, I do have a lot of friends and family here that showed up. Hell, I didn't even know I knew this much people or that this many people like me. And, uh, I want to tell you what's really cool. I got 30 seconds. I want to tell you what's really cool. Six or seven years ago, I contacted this place and told them I wanted to get up here because I thought I was the best thing. Uh, I was trying to hang in there like a curly hair on the soap bar. And uh, they told me, you got to do open mics. you got to do this and that. And I thought, what the hell is their problem? Well, seven years later, I did all the open mics, and I did the comedy club, and guess what? They stayed by their word. They That's said, May 17th, we're going to put you on. Yeah.